This is a drawing, an original drawing, of the first steam heating system. It was made by Colonel William Cook in London in 1745, where steam heating begins. And down here we see the kettle, which was just a closed vessel, partly filled with water, and it had a fire under it, probably a wood fire. And the steam was formed, and it rose up through this line here that's labeled B, and it just went through a serpentine pattern up all the way to the top and then fed all the way down. The steam is moving, uh, the water is forming as the steam condenses. So we've got both steam and water coming down through here. And then everything just gets dumped to a drain. So you would have steam pouring out of the bottom of this as well as hot water. And Colonel Cook also gives us valves here and there and there and there and another here and another there. And I'm sure if you closed any one of those, everything would stop, but he describes it in his paper as a way of regulating the heat, which is kind of fun. And this was about 500 words in a paper that he presented to the Philosophical Society, which was the group of early engineers in England. And the rest of the article, which was about 1,500 words, had to do with how to keep worms from eating the bottom of your ship. So steam heat and worms eating ships gets introduced at the same time in 1745 and the worms get by far more attention than the steam heat, which uh, I guess at the time seems appropriate, but now seems pretty funny.